Hello, friends, and welcome back to Planet Zoo, the Twilight Pack at Castle Myers. And I have done something rather terrible. I have done something that you should never do in your entire life, and that is to really make a skunk angry. I have angered my skunks. I have potentially done something absolutely awful. They are so furious. They are, they are too many adults in the social group. They are so stressed out. This is drama. This is high skunk drama. Ah, and I'm stuck in the trees. And uh, we need to do better by our animals. Their welfare is like one freaking percent. <gasps> and now we're about to have baby raccoons and I don't even have the climbing things for them yet. Oh boy. Uh, and I don't even have that poor bear that has been waiting in our trade center for a home. I don't even have her out yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see what these little raccoon kids look like. Oh, that's so precious. Are we going to have two? The mama raccoon who used to live behind our house when Chips and I still lived in Ann Arbor, Michigan, um, it, she usually had four babies a year and we would love seeing her. I think you can find some old wildlife discovery vlogs on our main channel here uh, where you can see those baby raccoons because it was wild. Oh my goodness! So we now have some little baby raccoons. We have two itty bitties who we're going to go ahead and we are going to name uh, after you guys. So this Yes! Cold quality male! Yes! This is a wonderful, healthy baby raccoon who we are going to name Sabito. And Sabito, I'm so glad you are excited about uh, what's going down with all of our wonderful raccoons. And also, Maple is such a perfect name for this little one. But I also like Michi. So, Michi, there we go. We now have maybe Michi Maple. I don't know why, that just sounds really cute. That sounds like something I would name a little candy stall after. And we need to give these guys something better as well. Also, I think, uh, Linda died? No! No! Linda! She died while we are here with a, no, no, oh no. No, my heart. We need a foster mama for this wombat ASAP. Linda had a baby. We didn't even get to name yet. I haven't even had time to be over here. Millie, Lauren, like you're you're up next. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna name this little guy. Um, he's gonna be named Ren. So little Ren, juvenile. <laughs> I am oh my gosh and this place is like such a mess okay that's it that's it like the vet is here to take care of this but we need more staff members it is far past time for more keepers so I would like to welcome wombat expert or how about like see wombat wiggler <laughs> I would take a job if it let me be a wombat wiggler that sounds amazing so Wombat Wiggler Blaze Quakes. And Blaze, oh, I'm so happy that you are once again reborn into, oh, and Sunflower is getting ready for more babies. Reborn back into the wonders of our zoo. You have been part of our Patreon community, helping to make all of our adventures possible for years now. And I am always so happy to see you. And Sunflower is now expecting more fox kits. That sounds amazing. And all of our animals are getting stressed. And Ember, Ember, you're finally having your babies. Oh geez, while well, the skunks are fighting. Holy, holy cow. We have angry skunks. But again, last thing you ever want to have is angry skunks. All right, look, this is, this, is, this is ridiculous. I need to get a proper picture of this. So hang on one second, friends. All right, where, when on earth can I get? Okay, wait, 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 there we go. I want to be able to get some proper sunlight on these skunks and observe as, as awful as it is, I kind of want to observe the fighting behavior so we have the male over here who needs a new name and an untitled bird. <laughs> I love that name for that skunk. Oh my gosh. And we're actually going to go ahead and we are going to name uh, this skunk Za. The male skunk is just going to be Za after Elizabeth. I'm plucking out a couple letters from your name to make a, uh, a name for this striped skunk. Apparently they don't like to be in groups. Are they going to end up fighting again? We need to learn about uh, one male and one female, and that's it. Solitary, temporary pairings during the mating season. 
So they're they're not cool with this. And Ember, I still need to make you your building and or your like climbing frame. Ah! <laughs> There's so much to do in this zoo. Oh my gosh! And the babies are over there with the skunk. Are you kidding? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, this is this is. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Look at this. I don't even know what I'm looking at. This looks like. This looks like if somebody had something absolutely terrible go wrong, like this is why you should not leave pet food out at night, right? This is why you should not put like your cat or dog food outside because this is what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, let's come over. Come on, Ember. I think she's hungry too. Oh my gosh. All right, and I need to figure out which skunk I'm going to grab. Well, oh, Ember's having the babies like right now. Right now, she finally gets the baby she always wanted. We have another, oh, Ember the second. Oh, that's precious. She just had Ember the second, whose name literally popped up as Ember, and a little boy who we are gonna go ahead and name Knight after a, or a suggestion from Addie. Knight is such a cool name, Addie. I really love that. Let me grab him. Where'd he go? There we go. And we're gonna have little Knight. Now we have a lot of raccoons, like too many raccoons, and also the fence is getting more, mm, yeah, it's getting more holes in it. Uh, all right, so it looks like the bats are taken care of again. We've got more vet research done on the raccoons, yes! Uh, so our plague doctors are working their way through the research. We need to go ahead and make this thing better for the raccoons and also get one of the skunks out of the way. Whoops, okay, well, we can make their food better. Let's make everybody's food higher quality and let's figure out which of the two female skunks we might keep in here for now. So let's take a wee look at whose immunity and in fact I think we can compare the two over here. Let's look for the striped skunk and I think I can go ahead so like untitled bird, longevity 49, 60, okay. So uh, fertility is higher on Zuzurai. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to put an untitled bird into the trade center. However, here's my plan. We move untitled bird into the trade center for now. And then we make another skunk exhibit where we can even put some of the raccoon babies over here next to the bats in this small area that is too small for the Himalayan like brown bear. Uh, also, <laughs> social health. Have we finally hit the number that where there's too many bats? We have too many bats. <gasps> We've finally done it, friends. We have finally maxed out the number. Okay, I thought for some reason Sunflower was one of our bats. <laughs> So when we ended up under the burrow, I was so confused. I was like, why Why are my bats underground? All right, there's clearly too much going on for this silly Siri to be able to keep track of, including the birth of some brand new, here we go, some brand new foxes, maybe, how many? So far, Sunflower and Co, her mate, have ended up having eight boys who are all silver and one bronze well like seven silver one bronze will we end up with any females this time or any foxes i mean this is fine there's something kind of soothing about waiting for the babies to be born because it allows you a chance to slow down and just kind of appreciate what's happening you can appreciate that, hey, it's past my birthday in March, apparently, year 13. It's three in the morning. We're probably, we should get some hot cocoa we could sip together, you guys. And we could just sit side by side, like, in our little keeper hut, staring at the animal burrow cam. Is she going to just, like, sleep through this? Again, like, it's, it, it's sort of soothing <laughs> to watch her. But I think she's legitimately asleep. But I'm kind of worried I'm going to miss the birth if I go away. Huh. 
I guess we could play with some of the settings. We can make it black and white. Night vision, full color. Oh, okay. Without night vision, you don't see anything. <laughs> Just for the record. Okay. We can make it a little brighter. And then we've got the camera light so that you can actually see what's happening. I feel like we're being baited, friends. We were told fox cubs. We have a lot going on. Sunflower, I will be back. You've had eight fox cubs. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. So now our skunks are stressed. Apparently we need... Why? Okay, we didn't move any of our bats out. So why are our bats suddenly not upset anymore about how many bats there were in the group? I'm a little concerned. Just saying. Also, we got more skunk and raccoon research from our plague doctors. Thank goodness. Uh, I think I need to get our mechanic actually working on hopefully being able to get like the glass, the one way glass fence at some point. Because everybody, I mean, one way glass fences or one way mirrors and windows seem like perfect for this kind of place. Uh, but all right, let's come over to our bats really quickly. Because a second ago, we were having some batty problems. And the bats are actually one of our big money makers. So, let's do Egyptian fruit bats. We have 62 of them now. Oh, and the skunks. Oh. Okay, do skunks need a burrow? All right, never mind. Stressed out skunks definitely take priority over playing with my fruit bats, even though I love my fruit bats. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can offer the skunks. Maybe they need a burrow of some kind that will allow them to get away from the stress. We definitely need to learn more about them. Do they like burrows? They like burrows! You guys! Okay, so let's put that in. And Co the Red Fox is preventing animals from breeding. Huh. We're gonna have to investigate that. So let's put a couple burrows in over here where our skunks can like get away from everybody if they need to. And then let's try to make sure that they that they feel and Sunflower just had her babies! Oh dear, and our bats have gone off again. <laughs> Alright, and then do they have... Okay, the skunks apparently have enough enrichment and even a little bit of interspecies bonus. They just really don't like being around people. So I wonder, can we make like a little protected spot for them in here? With like a hedge? Or... Like a low, a low, low, like abandoned, quote unquote, abandoned wall. Well, that could that be a thing that helps them out? Because sometimes some of my animals will allow this. Oh, I can't, I can't alter the height of it. What the heck? All right, there we go. Okay, somebody has escaped. Excuse me. Um. Animal has not. The, 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 the fox cubs have not escaped. Do not, do not have such lies. Oh, we've got the little. Oh, yes, another gold quality male. I guess we do have one of them already, and now they're trying to hide. Okay, fine. I can take a hint. I can take a hint. Um, everything's on fire. <laughs> Za is so stressed out that he can't handle it. He feels safe back here because there's no people. Um, let's try putting in another barrier. So if he wants to just kind of like have some no people time. We've got like these tiny little fenced off zones where he can have some no people time. Um, I think my raccoons are going to grow up any second now too. This is wild. There's so much to do in the zoo. So let's try that. And I think... Is that... Oh, I think it's helping! Because my little skunk is like, oh, look, I have I have a no people zone. Woo! And we'll even go ahead and put in, like, one of their toys over here. Or, like, I know! Let's put down some small little bedding spots. Oh, that's precious. Oh, my gosh. We'll put down some small little uh, bedding spots and a feeder. So if the skunks want to get out of the way of everybody, now they've got a little spot where they don't have to feel exposed to all of those spooky, scary people with their spooky, scary skeleton selves. And hopefully that will help out 
Uh, also, our fox cubs are feeling a little exposed. Uh, people think- oh, you guys think it's underpriced? I'll solve that in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Uh, in fact, let's go up to 18. Hello. Phew. Alright, I think the cubs are feeling better too. Oh my goodness. Uh, alright, but <laughs> we still have not solved the conundrum of what to do for the sake of our- our- our raccoons, because they are not happy. And how's our skunk over here? Better. So I think the skunks just really needed to feel like they had somewhere to go to kind of get away from everything. Um, and the skunks also want a slightly different terrain, because they want like some short grass. A lot of short grass, actually. I don't think the raccoons care. I mean, I don't blame the skunks, because maybe they're like this long grass stuff. This is dangerous. Don't you know there could be, like, bears or something in there? I don't want to die. I don't blame the little skunks. They're, they're just trying to, like, live their best skunk life. <gasps> yes! Okay, our mechanic has actually finished both souvenir shops! Stone Mason Perry, you are amazing! Please, please research the habitat, like, uh, either the power- You know what? If we get- Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I was gonna say, if we go ahead and we get a- another research spot for our mechanics maybe we could get stuff even faster that's not true because there's so much to repair in this whole place <laughs> oh, and our bats are trying to freak out but i'm trying to focus on the raccoons today all right also let's go ahead and we're just going to name this the rascal uh rascal roundup that's the the raccoon area is the rascal roundup so is that chirping the the, the skunks? Because I don't think it's the raccoons. That's wild to me. Ooh, vet research! Yes! Have we have we earned anything unique for the, the skunks or the raccoons? Let's add in... They have like little Skittles feeder. And they can chase the tennis ball, which I think is absolutely precious. So... I'm going to move the tennis ball over here. I kind of like the idea that a tennis ball just sort of found its way in there. Um, and then we'll add in the raccoons. And I wonder if the babies- the babies need more things to play with. Alright. So here's the raccoons. They'll go in the boxes! This is not a drill- oh my gosh, and they'll play with the small pumpkins? Please! That would be so cute for our guests to be able to see. Ooh, and even more of that research is done now! Yes, we've learned even more about the raccoon! And our bats are continuing to have an existential crisis on how many members are in their bat colony or not. We will work on the bat colony soon, I swear. It's just I'm trying so hard. Alright, let's see. Metal climbing frame, rubber duckies. Oh, that's right! The raccoons really want to have somewhere to go ahead and be able to swim. I also- okay, animal has escaped. This, this little one has not escaped. Christopher the fox has not escaped. I am not spending a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, now he's joined the pack. He was he was just threatening to run away. We need not distress ourselves with such lies. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at like any blueprints for climbable surfaces really quickly. So I want I guess it would be enrichment items. Can I put in? I can put in this, this the giraffe sculpture. I mean, we can say this is supposed to be like, I mean, this looks like a cool climbable thing, right? You know what? I'm doing it. It's made out of all of the climbing pieces. And I think it would be so cute to see the raccoons climbing on these giant giraffe sculptures. I'm doing it. I'm absolutely doing it. Also, it's one of the few things we've actually unlocked already. Uh, there's the, this huge frame, large barrel feeder, metal climbing poles, interesting. Um, there's a nice, a nice little tree house! Yes! Yes! Get my little raccoons in this tree house! Oh my gosh. I love this. I love this. This is so cute. I am naming this treehouse. I am absolutely naming this treehouse after one of you guys. All right, let me see. Uh, in fact, let's see, should I do? This is gonna be, let's see, Gail. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And then Gail. So this is going to be Gail's treehouse. And I wish I could put the apostrophe, but you guys know how it all freaks out when you do that. Okay, so now that we've put those in, let's also add in some water. I can put in some water right here and it will be, it will be tended to. Anywhere else and we'll have to put in a new water like filter. I'm not enthusiastic about that concept, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. All right. And then if we do, okay, valid, obstructed, valid, obstructed. Okay, maybe I went a little too far. Obstructed. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. Maybe I didn't go far enough. <laughs> okay, would they be able, look at the little raccoon. It, wait, are you what's obstructing me? Hey, I'm trying to make you a little bog. Skedaddle. Go on, get. That's right, shoo, shoo, shoo. All right, fine, maybe this is gonna be your little bog. <laughs> I wanted to give you more, because you're probably gonna complain at me that you want a bigger a bigger spot, aren't ya? Oh my gosh, there's so many raccoons. And they're all, get away from me, caribou moss. Hey, Knight, what do you think? I really didn't want to do the water that low. Like, the, yeah, this only, he's like, that's only 92 feet of water. Like, square feet of water, and I wanted more. Well, maybe if you guys, like, gave me a little bit of elbow room. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well, maybe I can do a little more over here. No? Here? Anywhere? Maybe along here? So suddenly this is turning into a very interesting waterway indeed. I don't think that's going to be... Oh my gosh, it is almost the size that they want. I legitimately didn't think that was going to work. Alright, flatten. How about flatten to surface, please? <gasps> ooh! Ooh! Can I go under? Can I go... No, I don't think I can, but like, I look, I'm, I'm starting to think big-brained here. Can I actually go under? Oh my gosh. Oh, and Rin, the common wombat, had to grow up with no companionship because I got so distracted. I am so sorry, Rin. Also, did this give me- Yes! I finally have enough water for the raccoons. <laughs> they finally have enough climbing space. They still want more short grass. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. It's, it's a work in progress. There you go. All right. They're happy. And now the bats are unhappy. <laughs> But we're working on it. We are working on it, friends. So, all right. Jurassic World needs some of our TLC because it has definitely gotten uh, a little out of hand with how many members of the family there are. We're going to be working on that and hopefully making a lot of money next time, which might finally give us a chance to work with the bears. <laughs> If you guys could, do please leave a like for our baddie bats, our stinky skunks, and our rascally raccoons and red foxes. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I really want to see one of these raccoons go into the, the treehouse. That's a new life goal of mine. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.